The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Hear our humble prayer, O oh God, for our friends, the animals, your creatures. We pray especially for all that are suffering in any way, for the overworked and the underfed, the hunted, the lost, and the hungry, for all in captivity or ill-treated, and for those that must be put to death. For those who deal with them, we ask a gentle heart of compassion, gentle hands, and kindly words. Make us true friends to all animals and worthy followers of our merciful Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our hymn today is All Creatures Great and Small. If you open your uh, your bulletin to page two, and we'll try to sing together out here uh, under the tree with our puppies. And the dogs can all chime in. Don't worry about your dogs barking or screaming or whatever. That's quite all right. This is this day is for them. John.
Strengthen us to love and care for them as we strive to imitate the love of Christ our Lord and God's servant, friends. I would invite Peggy Grace. We forgot to put Nexus on here. Remind me, we'll do that. God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May your love of Nexus be a constant reminder of God's love for you in all of creation. Thank you, Grace. I bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peggy Grace, Karen, be a constant reminder of God's love for you and all creation. Go in peace. Jasper. dog will come to me. God bless you, Jasper, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Judith and Rick, may your love for Jasper be a constant reminder of God's love for you in all creation. Amen. Maylene. May your love for May Ling be a constant reminder of God's love for you and all creation. Thank you, Father. Come on. Go with me.
door. May God bless you. In the name of the Father. Or you may your love Thor be a constant reminder of God's love for you in all of creation. Freckles, Heidi, Roscoe, and Ashley. Toby and Teddy Bear Bear. May God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit bless you and your family to stay in forever.
and to Laura. May your love for Gracie be a sign of God's love for you in all of his creation. in Sophie. Lacey, may God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Linda, may your love for Lacey be a sign of God's love. Sophie, and for you, you. Bless you. Be a reminder of God's love for you and all of His creatures. I will hurt your head. Who is missing? With all the names that I have. Let us pray. Who, who's missing? <laughs> You've got the blessing, darling. They've already been blessed. Oh, so it kicks in. That's an action of the Holy Spirit. Okay, well, I'll be waiting. Okay. You'll notice in one of your handouts we have uh, the uh, Ten Commandments of Animal Blessing Ceremony. This is sort of tongue-in-cheek, but I want you to have that, so read it when you have an opportunity for your pets. St. Francis of Assisi was born in, in the early uh, well, the, the 12th century. The friars of St. Francis became a community uh, supported and blessed by the Pope in about 1209. The monks of the, or the friars of St. Francis. Thomas of Silano was a member of St. Francis's order who knew the saint personally. He remembered a lot of the stories of Francis and wrote them down. By the grace of God, we have some of those stories today. The story I want to share with you is a story of St. Francis' preaching to the birds. One time as Francis was passing through the Spoleto Valley, he came upon a place near, near Vivagna, in which a great multitude of birds of various kinds had assembled. When the Holy One of God saw them, because of the outstanding love of the Creator with which he loved all creatures, Francis ran swiftly to the place where all the birds were gathered. Francis greeted those birds in a usual way, as if they shared in reason. As the birds did not take flight when he went to them, going to and fro among them. 
touching their heads and bodies with his tunic. Meanwhile, his joy and wonder increased as he carefully admonished them to listen to the word of God. I say that to Cameo, Toby. What's the other one? Teddy Bear. Oh, Teddy Bear Bear. That's the answer to your question, Judy. Meanwhile, his joy and wonder increased as he carefully admonished them to listen to the word of God. My brother birds, he says, you should greatly praise your creator and love him always. He clothed you with feathers and gave you wings for flying. You neither sow nor reap. He never left, governs you without your least care. At these words, the birds gestured a great deal in his own way. They stretched out their necks, spread their wings, opened their beaks, and looked at him. They did not leave the place until having made the sign of the cross, he blessed them and gave them his permission. On returning to the brothers, he began to accuse himself of negligence because he had not preached to the birds before. From that day on, Francis carefully exhorted birds and beasts and even insensible creatures to praise and love the Creator. Animals are God's creatures. He surrounds them with his provincial care. By their mere existence, they bless him and give him, that is God, glory. Thus men and women owe them kindness. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who has made all the earth and every creature that dwells therein, help us, we pray, to treat with compassion the living creatures entrusted to our care that they may not suffer from our neglect or nor become victims of cruelty and grant that in caring for them we might find a deeper understanding of your love for all creation through Jesus Christ our Lord Amen we give you thanks most gracious God for the beauty of the earth the sky and the sea for the richness of the mountains, the plains, and the rivers, and for the songs of birds and the loveliness of flowers. We praise you for all these good gifts and pray that we may safeguard them for our posterity. Grant we may continue to grow in our grateful enjoyment of your abundant creation to the honor and glory of your name now and forever. My brothers and sisters, go as instruments of God's peace. Where there is hatred, so love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. And where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. The peace of God which passes all understanding. May keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with each of you in our animal family this day and forever. Amen. Go forth into the world rejoicing in the power of His Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God. Abide in peace.